Hello and welcome to another video of the course Answers at Solving in Practice. The one talking is Javier Romero and I'm going to show you how to do what the exercise that probably is the simplest one of the course. This is about safety of the introduction part of the course, where what we have to do is to determine which rules of the following programs are not safe. So let's go quickly to the part of the slides where safety is explained. And this is really straightforward. A normal rule is safe if all its variables occur in its positive body. Here you have some examples. And then we say that a normal program is safe if all of its rules are safe. So if you have not watched this part of the video where this is explained, please go and watch it. I put the link below in the description. description. And if you have watched it, then let's move on and do this very quickly because this is really straightforward. All we have to see is if the variable, variables occur in the positive body of the rules. Oops, I wanted to come here. Good, then I will just cross the ones that are not safe. So this rule, the first rule, I will be doing it like this. So the first rule is safe because this, there are no variables. Same for the second one. So facts are always safe. Then in these two, the variables, there's only one variable, x, and it occurs in a positive, in the positive body, right? So then these are safe. But this is not safe because there's a variable x that does not occur in any positive atom of the body. So then this rule is unsafe. And what about the next one? So the situation is similar. So variable x occurs in the head in a negative, in a, uh, in a literal of the, of the negative body, but it does not occur in any uh, positive atom in the body, in any atom of the positive body of the rule. Hence, this is not safe. Then let's move on. This is safe, a fact, another fact. And again, this is not safe because the va variable x does not occur in any atom of the positive body. So this is unsafe. Similarly, the next one, dx, does not occur in any atom of the positive body. If we deleted the node, it would be safe, but we have the node there. So again, unsafe. Let's see the next one. Here we have variables x and y, and both occur in an atom of the positive body. So then we are fine. This is safe. Let's go to this one. These all are safe. They are just facts. And let's see the next one. We have variables x and y, and neither of them belongs to an atom of the positive body of the program. Neither of them belongs to a positive atom in the body. Hence, this is not safe. And now let's move to the last program where we have these two facts that are safe, but here x does not occur in the positive body, so this is not safe. And same story with these two, right? The x does not belong to any atom in the positive body, does not belong to any positive atom in the body. And for the last one, we have the X, right? It's in this positive atom, but the Y does not belong, does not occur in any atom in the positive body, does not belong, does not occur in any positive atom in the body. Hence, this rule is also not safe. And as we can see then, the four programs that we have are unsafe because they all have some rules that are not safe. And in fact, if you have done the previous exercise on normal logic program with variables that we have here, you will see that you also had here some rules that were not safe. But what is important is that safety is a condition that the system imposes on the programs that we may write to them. But the semantics are also well defined for programs that are not safe, as you have seen if you have done this exercise about normal logic program with variables. So good, this was all about this exercise. 
as I said, I guess that this is the simplest exercise of the course. I hope you understood it, you enjoyed it, and see you in another video. Ciao!